Okay, scholars, for module 5, we are still in the introduction to online opportunities. We're going to we are going to discuss freelancer profile creation and client prospecting. Okay, so what are you good at? Identify your skills. Okay, so kayo class, ano ba, saan ba kayo magaling? For now na, wala, hindi pa kayo nag- when you start pa lang kayo for your enrollment, for your course here, can you identify your skills na? I believe, all of us naman may mga kanya-kanyang skills, no? May mga different skills din naman talaga tayo. But for you, can you identify your skills and what are you good at? Okay, so please take note. Later, I'm gonna ask you again. Or maybe I will call your name. Okay? So... Prepare your freelancer toolkit. Okay, so we've discussed that on our previous lessons, no? As a, as a freelancer, may mga toolkit kang mga dapat prepare. So, freelancer's portfolio. Okay, in, in, in addition to this, so this will be the other part of your toolkit. So, freelancer's portfolio, you need to prepare for your curriculum today. Your best works showcase, what, how and professional looking photo freelancers website and, and blog and later on if you could uh, avail or establish your own website and blog that will be um, a nice um, uh, pointers with you no as a toolkit as of for freelancers so you could be able to showcase your services offered and your branding for freelancers gadgets of course, you need to have your computer and desktop, laptop, mobile phone. Okay, mobile phones will be used for monitoring even if you are out, you are not in your desk, not at your, not in your, at your desk. Internet connection, very important. Uh, ito ang hindi pwedeng mawala, no? So, headset with noise cancellation feature. So, freelancer applications, you have your coordination base camp or Trello. You need this to monitor your, your progress or your uh, uh, milestone. Of course, you need to have your email, okay, preferably Gmail. File storage, Google Drive, or Dropbox. Later on, you can invest on a file storage. It's a, this will be a good repository of all your tasks and your resources as well. So, your you need to have your office productivity, open office, Google Ops, and open office because if you are uh, doing content, you know, and you really need all of this uh, uh, office productivity tool and application. Time tracking. Okay, please prepare your time tracking kasi baka may mga employer kayo or may mga client kayo na by the oras. And sometimes, uh, may mga client na strict sila pagdating sa time. Customer Relationship Management. Okay, you, you also need this uh, class uh, installed in your Gmail to manage all your clients and your customers as well. Okay, for payment up, for payment acceptance, okay, yun nga, no? pinag natin on our previous module, you need to prepare for your uh, online payment gateway or platform with all of this. No? So build freelancer profile and portfolio, creating your kick-ass freelancer profile. Okay. So with this note, we may mga client kayo later on na they will be seeing or reviewing that much of your profile. So you need to optimize your profile, your kick-ass freelancer profile. Okay. So build freelancer profile and portfolio. This will be your guide, uh, right? So your headline will be your title, years of experience, and specialty. Kailangan very clear ito. What's your highest value? Contact, social media, mobile, email. So, um, uh, all the while, meron na kayong headline na specify yung year of experience mo, specialty, pero hindi ka naman nila directly makakontact. So, it will be useless. Huwag nyo nang pahirapan yung mga client niyo because sa dami ng mga freelancers, sa laki ng competition, maiiwanan kayo, iiwanan kayo pag wala na, hindi naman nila kayo directly makakontact. So, for your qualification, 
education, experience, sample work, community, or volunteer involvement where you put your skill to practice. You can, you, you can also do this, no? Uh, uh, no, no. I mean, you can uh, also put this in, uh, in your freelancer, freelancer profile. You mga volunteer works mo, mga, mga pro bono mo. So, ilagay mo din yan, no? Just to uh, prove to your client na you can do the job. Or you can you can uh, uh, you can help them uh, uh, with their current problem. Okay, for freelancer profile elements, okay services you are offering, how will this help your target market? Okay, it says here that you have your target market. So, because before we we uh, learn about persona, so dapat naka meron ka ng target market naka ano siya, uh, naka in place na. What problem will it solve? Okay, so dapat clear at much as possible kung may figure, okay, percentage ng increase or ng improvement ng kanilang business, the better. So, contact, how to reach you, mobile, social media, and email. Very important dito. If after your services you are offering, na-convince mo na sila dito, dito sila next na pupunta with your contact. Of course, paano ka nilang ma-reach? So, be very, very careful with this. Tama ang social media, mobile number, and email as well. So, how to keep your freelance marketplace competitive? Okay. What worries you about your business or freelancing service? <coughs> <coughs> so, excuse me. So, later on class, this will be your great question or this will be another questions that will bother you as you go along with your freelancing freelancer freelancing uh, career no so uh, what worries you about your business later on no? or freelance freelancer service no most especially pag nasa uh, kalagit na anak kayo or wala man kayong makukuha client marami kayong failure with client so these are one of the questions that will uh, really uh, cling into your mind so three threats to communication Okay. Uh, disruption threatens your connection with others. Also, maraming dis with others. So, maraming kinds of destruction. Okay, both uh, internally, uh, both internally and externally within your environment. Competition threatens your ability to stand out and win. Okay, sometimes meron kang agam agam or meron kang hesitation to go with that particular client, but the competition threatens you. Parang inu meron ka ng limiting belief na, ay, hindi ko makakaya to. Ay, ang mas magaling sila. Ay, ang daming nag-apply. So, hindi na rin ako mag-apply. So, that threatens you. Uh, to that threatens you to stand out and win the client. Commodi commoditization threatens your relationships and loyalty as well. Okay. So, these are the threats to communication uh, centering on your client. Okay. So, think about this. Attract customer. Urgency for immediate sale. Are you there? Are you the, the best choice? Okay. Right? Convince new prospects to try you. Recommend customers being to being loyal. Okay. So, these are the other challenges of you out there in the freelancing world when you are going to a posture with it. Okay, so high achiever success formula. Deliver a specific benefit. Okay, it says here specific. Okay, sometimes, uh, well, be very, very careful na kung ano yung pinagawa sa'yo, kung ano yung job description mo, yung job order mo, uh, you should be able to stick to it and uh, really be strict on your deadlines. Okay? So, kaya nga nakalagay dito, specific benefit. So, don't go beyond kasi malulugi ka na. Plus, may mga ibang client na, okay, so ito lang pinagawa ko, bakit gumawa ka pa ng iba? Okay. So, work more, paid more. Okay? So, sometimes, na-impress si client sa'yo, mas babayaran ka ng mas malaki. Okay? O may mga client naman. So, depende rin, no? Kapit. 
kakapaingin ninyo. No? May mga client din naman na na-appreciate nila na meron, meron silang pinagawa and you do more. So, no problem naman. No? Try ninyong i-check, no? Pakiramdaman ninyo sa client. Don't compete on price. Okay, this is important. Price is a, a very difficult uh, very difficult thing to do when you are starting as a freelancer, no? Uh, this sometimes make makes you feel bad or makes you feel good. Okay, so anong pipiliin mo with the price? Makes you feel good or makes you feel bad? So, that's very challenging to do, no? So, ano ba yung worth it mo? Kaya mo bang i-deliver? If kaya mo, ano yung posibleng mangyari sa business niya if you do it? So, yun yung mga factor for your pricing. So with customers in mind, how does your product service ben your product slash service benefit them? Okay. So with centering on your customers or with with customers, with customer in mind. So ito may mer siyang ano no, uh, pain, job and gain. So what problems does it take away? For job, what's in it for the buyer? Okay. So, ano ba? Ano bang makukuha niya? Mapapala niya? Okay. So, how will it make their lives better? Okay. So, ito, no? In the customer's mind, so, ito yung pwede na yung i-consider, no? In giving your service or your product. Okay. Sa so content creation process, okay? So, one, identify buyer's persona, job, pain, and gain. Okay, so um, with here, so you could be able to craft carefully para targeted, no, yung market mo. So, you need to identify buyer's persona. You need to finish or at least um, comply with the buyer's persona. You Actually, si buyer's persona, hindi lang yung isa yan. Pwede ka pang magdagdag, no? Kasi isang imaginary uh, imaginary uh figure, uh, imaginar <coughs> sorry, imagine figure lang naman din kasi yon so, nagdagan mo na para mas marami kang uh, choices or options, no? So, number two, product service features and benefits. Okay, so pwede yan, maging part ng iyong content, buyer's path to purchase. So, ito yung funnel, basic funnel, no? Awareness, consideration, decision, or conversion. For content creation system process. So, later on, dapat meron ka ng system on how you're doing, doing content. May, may system process ka. Okay? Scheduling. You need to, may scheduling ka. Next, anong mga content na dapat mo ilagay, and etc. And create templates. Part of your building your system process is the templates. No? So, at least, if you have templates, uh, madali mo na lang din siyang i-fill in most especially for content creation Sir, where where can I find online jobs? So napakadami class no? So all you have to do is to search no? But with with our slides, ito yung mga recommended natin, most popular Sometimes mas maganda pa nga kung hindi popular kasi mas, mas low yung competition lalo na kung nag-starter ka lang kayo So promote your expertise online with all these social media. So, ito, these social media accounts. Okay? So, very important yan. You, know? you can, uh, you can also, you can also get clients from building your, from optimizing your profile, posting relevant content here. So, pag may nakapansin, they will communicate with you, and maybe, pwede mo rin silang maging client. What are your social media marketing goals? Okay. Okay. What are your digital media marketing goals? So, again, andito na naman tayo sa goals. No? Previously, you have your uh, goals personally as a freelancer. Yung mga road mapping guides natin. So, very, very important talaga ang, ang goals scholars or class. So, ano nga ba yung social media marketing goals mo? dapat ikakraft mo yan. Ano ba yung figures na dapat ma-reach ng sales mo? Ano ba yung uh, on each stage of the funnel? Ano yung mga goal mo on each stage? No? Depende sa status ng business or ng products or ng client mo. What are your digital media marketing goals? So, napakarami nito. No? So, 
you need to identify now you need to plan and identify and later on strategize so your campaign goals would be your brand awareness uh, generate leads okay loyalty relevance credibility sales conversion say so pinakaunang una class no you need to build awareness lalo na kung new player ka bago ang business you need to to uh, to uh, ano ba yung pakilala pakilala ka muna pa, papansin ka muna para paramdam ka muna sa mga prospect clients mo or audience mo then later on if they will engage you can generate leads you can you can bring on contacts details for follow ups no and then later on if you have good communications and you always provide value to them you you ano you uh, you develop loyalty from your customers now with that you build credibility and later on no later on sales conversion and then siguro no with this sales conversion mag develop ka na rin ng strategy mo with here to uh, push them to repeat uh, to uh, uh, ano yun yung ma develop yung ano, repeat buying sa kanila or avail, uh, or patronize your other products or services okay so hindi pa ko lang dito platform checklist is your target persona on this platform tama no so kung wala kang target persona na develop paano mo ma-identify na andito nga ba yung mga prospect clients mo sa platform na ito kasi pwede mo naman siya may mga capability naman sa platform para ma-identify mo yan so will this fill the need that my other accounts can't yes yes you can also check on that right so do I have time to build, maintain, and monitor it? Very important, no? Uh, how many posts a week? Okay, so these are all part of your marketing goals or your social media marketing goals, no? Or depende sa pag-launch mo or strategy ng campaign mo. Okay, what's the goal in this platform? So, ano nga ba? Kasi may mga platform na very high competitive, major friendly platform, they will really, really assist you and very selective. Yung ibig sabihin, uh, medyo uh, niche ba? Parang focus sila on, on selected niche. Okay? Why is this platform important? So, why is it important with you? So, nakakuha ka ng client dito? Okay ba sila dito? Uh, uh, ano ba yung concern nila? Eh, talaga na sa mga freelancers. So, depende. Marami din factors na pwede mong i-consider why is it important. So, can I scale this account, draw its following? Of course. Okay. So, uh, you need to, ano na, ano ba, mag-grow ba ako dito? Mag-stand mag, uh, mag out din ba ang aking profile dito with this um, kind of uh, type of platform? Okay. So, that's for it, guys, for the platform, is, uh, social and marketing strategy. We now proceed to the creation of website portfolio okay so when you're all done with all your with the optimization process of all your all your social media account or um, kahit naman hindi lahat no basta kung ano yung ma-identify mo kung nasaan yung persona mo okay so now it's it's about time for you to create your website portfolio so sir mark so mukhang madugo ata yan at saka magastos baka magbabayad pa ako ng hosting and etc so uh, actually I will share to you uh, okay. so would like to share to you ang isang CMS no na pwedeng hindi ka muna magbayad and then pag can afford ka na you can, you can upgrade it and host it and get your own domain so we have here strikingly no strikingly.com so mas user friendly na naman siya with WordPress kasi super drag and drop uh, super ano lang to, templated na talaga siya, konting bago-bago lang konting adjustment lang, and then you have now your own portfolio website okay, so all you have to do is go to strikemini.com and sign up so pwede, pwede ka na mag sign up with your Facebook or your email no? same time so here we go, welcome welcome back so you need to choose your template 
depende sa need mo or sa nature ng business mo. So, marami naman pwedeng makuhang template or ma-avail na template for free sa Strikingly. Okay. So, you have your dashboard just like the uh, WordPress here. Dashboard. Okay. So, you have your Discover menu at the same time. And pricing and upgrade. So, later on, no, pag uh, medyo nakukulangan ka na, no, medyo kulang na yung mga features ng website mo, parang you need to upgrade na and you can afford na. And also, you, if you want to invest, no, no problem with that. You can click on the pricing and upgrade to check on it kung ano yung suited sa'yo at suited sa iyong budget. Okay? So, uh, right? Next slide. Okay, this icon here represents your profile. You can click on that. And then, mag appear itong uh, men menu mo or button mo sa iyong profile. No? Okay. With the EN button, that is your language. Okay. Mamili ka. English, Portuguese, Spanish, etc. Okay. Alright. So, next would be your profile. Okay. Your first name, etc. I-input mo yan. And then, you have to click on update. And then, create a new site. Now, you are ready to create your your new site. Choose a template and start editing. Okay. So, with here, eto na actually yung buong website mo. All you have to do is to change the text. So, yung menu mo, naka-set up na rin. Papaltan mo na lang class mo yung mga items sa iyong main menu. Okay? Pwede mo lang din siyang pautan. Meron din. Pwede ka rin mag-create ng link dyan. So, this button here is for your layout, background, gusto mong palitan yung image, color, etc. Video, with image or video, no? If you want to add button, pwede rin, no? Same time. So, ganun lang kadali si Striking Beast. Siguro you can master this. Master, must, na master, must, na master mo na siya. Kung tutok ka talaga, siguro in one day to two days. Yung as in tutok ka, or baka hindi pa nga. Okay? So, that's all for the uh, website portfolio. Now, we proceed to introduction to prospecting. Okay, we now, proceed, we now go to introduction to prospecting, the last topic for this uh, module. Okay, I'm full screen. Okay, there you go. So, three possible reasons preventing from getting clients. So, nagtataka ka, three months ka na, six months ka na, wala ka pang wala ka pang nagkukuhang client no it's primarily because no one knows who you are medyo alanganin yung pag build at pag optimize na yung profile mo that they don't understand what you can do for them so malabo ano bang ano ba talaga ang service na ino offer parang ang dami-dami naman no so niching is very important here no hindi ka magmumukhang expert kung jack of all trade ka super jack of all trade ka okay it's just that you have to prepare so that pag nakapasok ka na, saka mo ilabas yung pagiging jack of, of all trade mo if you are a general VA or a VA, no? But, but for now, nagsa-search ka pa yung client mo, you have to focus on your own niche. Okay? Sino ba yung target market mo? Para mas marami, they will see you as an expert. Lack of a clear customer journey. Okay? So, hindi klaro sa iyo actually yung profile mo and all your social media account as well as your posting dadaan yan sa isang customer value journey as well. Okay? So, hindi lang yung mga clients mo later on na gagawa mo ng social media account na with products, no? Sila yung sila lang yung magka-customer value journey. Okay. Customer journey. So, you have here the very basic attract, engage, nurture, invite, and the like. Okay. So, for attract, bring awareness of you, your brand, and your message to new audience. So, ito sa laging ulit-ulit na sa mga previous lectures natin, no? Attract or, or awareness is just papakilala ka. Uh, you would like to introduce to you yourselves. Who are you? Your history? What you can do? Your skills? Etc. Ganun lang muna siya. Class, no? No more hard no hard selling muna. Okay? No more, no hard selling, no direct selling with or your audience. So, engage. In this stage, they are interested in learning more from you when they visit your website and join your email list or follow social media channel. 
with your with your awareness straight on attractive stage when they engage and they get to know more, know you more that actually awareness going to engage no actually itong engage pwede ka rin namang mag-post uh, based on uh, techniques and strategy on the engagement stage so they would be able to ano uh, to follow share or at least comment on your post so pwede rin naman yun no so nurture this is where you give 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 lots of relevant helpful entertaining content which should be warming your audience up for the next stage so nurture parang hinalaga mo para ka nagalaga ng uh, plants bibiligan mo for fertilizer rin mo no hanggang mag-grow siya okay hanggang later on mag-bear siya ng fruit so yun ganun lang din naman ang pag-nurture din no sabi nga dito give 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 at nung give lots of relevant helpful entertaining content nurture so get used to it pag laging ganun ang mga post mo at ang relevant ang post mo they will follow you aabangan nila and they will get excited So for invite, you have to invite people to work with you to get clients. Okay. So, yes, this is also very important. The invite stage, no? You have to invite people to work with you to get clients. Pa de ka magkakolaborate, or pa de ka you work together with with other with other freelancers, no? To get clients. The light providing an amazing customer experience that can open up working with the same. Clients. Okay, so the light will be what we call the excite stage. Now your your uh, your uh, clients will be delightful or will be is excited to own the service na bili kay mo or sa sa offering mo or sa product na receive nila. Okay, so benefits of benefits of prospecting. So sabi dito face today, coming tomorrow. Okay, so ano ibig sabihin? So, okay, you have four clients, three clients, two clients, no? Okay, no? And suddenly, like, like, uh, like ngayong situation natin, no? Pandemic comes, then suddenly, all of those four, or yung three, isa lang na iwan sa'yo, na wala bigla ang mga clients mo. Kasi nalogi din naman sila. Okay, so tomorrow, famine ka na. Uh, or tomorrow, you're experiencing famine, or kau mahuk kena, kerana yang four clients mo really support the needs of your family, no? So here to avoid the fees and family cycle in freelancing, start building the prospecting habit to get more clients and grow your revenue. So continue prospecting, continue optimizing your social media, your your ano. Kung may mga milestone ka, may mga achievement ka, continue posting, pas maramas marami kwan. Kung sobrang puno na, you can actually outsource the service or actually uh, parang ipasa mo, ishare mo sa mga ibang freelancer mo. At least continuous yung habit mo na nagpo-prospecting. Okay? So, yun yung gustong i-build dito. So, what is prospecting? Prospecting is a process of initiating and developing new business by searching for potential customers clients or buyers for your products or uh, services. So, prospecting is a process of initiating. Uh, initiate ka. No? Hanap ng client. Okay. Uh, build or optimize your profile para in return makikita nila yung profile mo, sila din makakaprospect sa'yo. No? The goal is to move this prospect to the sales funnel until they convert revenue generating customer source at spot. Okay, so prospecting techniques. So, ito yan, no? Okay, para wala na kayo masabi, no? At least, andito na lahat yung mga information na kailangan nyo to pursue your freelancing career. So, inbound, we have inbound and we have outbound. So, ano tong inbound? This is a process where you generate leads by creating content and requesting that prospect to provide their contact information in order to download the content, nurture them, okay, So, itong inbound, it is within your social media ecosystem or your website. Okay, so, doon ka nagbibuild ng mga content mo to attract customers. So, you would be able to generate leads. So, doon lang. Kung hindi ka umaalis doon, doon ka lang din nakafocus na sila yung magpa-prompt 
o sila yung mag opt in best mo, sila yung mag engage mismo at magpa-provide ng leads sa'yo. So, yung outbound naman, is a, it's a process where you directly reach out to your target customer and introduce them to your freelancing services. So, ito yung connect. Nag-connect ka, nagpapapansin ka, no? nag engage ka, no? So, para pag napansin ka nila, you can later on pitch your own services and uh, and, and be able to uh, provide best uh, yung, ano ba, yung uh, sampling na tinatawag, no? yung parang what they call this, uh, bigay ka muna ng mga free, free services mo para mas lalo ka makilala. Okay, so until such time na mag-nurture yun at magiging uh, magiging uh, show client mo. Okay, so for outbound prospecting, freelancing sites outreach, cold email outreach, social media outreach. Yeah, cold email. No? Pwede yung cold email, yung ano ba, yung kung saan ka lang mag-email, papansin ka lang, then ulit. Ano? And freelancing sites outreach. For inbound, creating value, valuable posts in social media, site optimization, community, and group engagement. Yun nga, yung inexplain ko. No? And doon lang sa loob ng ecosystem mo, you know, like you are uh, uh, developing and improving and optimizing your profile and as well as creating valuable posts. Okay, prospect database. What is a prospect database? A database comprises of different records of potential customers. It is made up of your non-customers or people you would like to turn into a client. So this is a uh, class, no? So it is uh, vital in your prospecting strategy, no? To build your own database. Kasi you can't memorize everything. Hindi lahat ng mga connect mo, hindi lahat ng mga reach out mo, pwede silang ma-convert into client. Ipapark mo lang sila sa isang database file mo. And then, um, siguro, in, in time or timely, seasonal, pwede ka mag-connect sa kanila. Until such time na you nurture them, no? And then they will become your um, customers later on. So, database, no? Database ang in-emphasize ito. Records of all your prospects, no? Why maintaining a prospect database is important? It is a key component to grow your customer base. It will allow you to generate information that will help you make sales. Okay, yun nga. No? Eh, sabi ko nga, hindi mo pwedeng isalaksak lahat yan no? ng mga prospect mo sa iyong utak. Kailangan din may list ka. May complete list ka of all those. So, pros prospecting KPI or prospecting key pack KPI. Okay? If you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Peter Drucker. Okay, that is why in building your services or in, pro, in your own proposals. So, dapat may mga ano ka doon, no? may mga what do you call this? Figures. No? Kailangan may uh, um, para ma-measure. No? Para ma-measure nung client mo. And then, and then yung client mo, alam niya kung paano siya mag no? Okay, so that's very important. What to track? What works so far? What services were the most profitable? What strategies produce the best results? So later on, you will have your own research on your own business as freelancer. What flopped so far? What services didn't work out so well? What strategies didn't work out so well? No. So later on, natututunan yung lahat ito as you go along the way. Kasi you 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 build you build your uh, bis, uh your business mo. Uh, sabi ko nga uh, freelancer. Uh, you are also building your uh, own business. You are a, a virtual entrepreneur. No? Uh, what got in your way? What held you back from seeing the result you wanted? Yeah. Okay. Prospecting KPI sample report, which visits, leads, customers, and conversion rates. So, ito yung uh, magiging measurement mo naman para sa yon. Okay. So. Reach, total number of people your freelancing business can reach across your different networks. Ayan, very important. Ilan na bang connect mo, ilan, na, ilan bang nag-likes, ilan bang nag-share, etc. It's an indicator of how well the content you're publishing is engaging your network and how effectively you're growing your entire perspective. No? So, pag maraming na-impress sa mga posts mo, maraming nag-share, so they will become popular with them. So, later on, you will... Uh, Post there yung mga services mo pa unti-unti. Huwag hard selling. 
visits, the number of people coming to visit your website, which is also very important. May demographics ka. Tracking is an indication that your inbound marketing is succeeding at, at attracting people to your website. So, do not worry. Plus, no, pag sometimes, oo nga, maraming visit, maraming check, wala naman nagko-convert. Okay lang yon. At least, may nakakapansin sa website mo. Okay? So, hindi naman lahat. Your services and your offer is not for everyone. Naman, no? And you cannot please everybody. So, for leads, a lead is a potential sales contract, contact, individual organization that expresses an interest in your services. Okay? That is why they are giving your contact details because they are interested or you give value to them. And they are, ano, they are uh, looking forward, no? Na mabigyan mo din sila ng service at mag-avail sila ng services mo or ng products mo. It's a performance measure on how many are you generating interest to your service. Then na, no? Source is hubs, HubSpot. So, that's all for this module. Do you have any questions? Okay, I see there's none. Kung may mga pahabo, you know what to do. Unmute your mic and raise, just raise a question. So, that's for all class for the freelancer profile creation and client perspective.